Continuing our AIMS November 2016 question paper, MHC antigens, major histocompatibility antigens, where are they absent? They are absent in on the erythrocyte because erythrocyte is a non-nucleated cell. So when it comes to MHC, we have class 1 MHC, class 2 MHC, class 1 MHC is expressed nearly on all the nucleated cells is what you need to remember class 2 mhc it is there on the antigen presenting cells like macrophages dendritic cells and uh, the b cells now if you look at the various uh, cells involved in immunity how is their mhc expression t cells predominantly have mhc class 1 so also b cells macrophages antigen presenting cells etc etc whereas if you look at erythrocytes they neither have a mhc class 1 nor the major histocompatibility class 2 neither of them are present on the erythrocyte that is what the examiner is uh, all the way looking forward for right now uh, nivedita is saying uh, Please start Jipmer, sir, because the next uh, forthcoming exam is Jipmer. But yeah. So, uh, since we started the AIMS question papers discussion, once we finish the November 2016, uh, we'll start uh, the Jipmer question paper and try to finish it. No problem. Yeah. Now, pre malignant lesions on the lip. If you want to diagnose what is the stain which is the one which is used is the favorite question of the examiner always one dye one stain without that there is no aims question paper so you should remember it is a tolid in blue india is the country where oropharyngeal cancer is very common so if you if there is a erythroplaque erythroplakia if you have on the left lateral border of the tongue if you stain it with tolidin this is how it typically looks like now with regard to the drugs what is efficacy what is potency and uh, what is a full agonist and what is a antagonist this is one of the favorite question Lokesh Murali is asking when will be the aims November 2000 yesterday's paper Actually, I'm not getting time to sit on the questions and then prepare the key. I received a good number of questions. Thanks for all the people who have sent the questions. Um, <clears throat> tomorrow, day after tomorrow, there will be an ENT class by Dr. Chandrasekhar. And uh, in this next two days, I will prepare full solutions. And uh, Thursday, we will try to have... Uh, aims uh, november 2018 paper discussion right so that is my promise to you now doctor both the a and b are called as full agonists and if you look at the potency versus efficacy so first of all what is meant by full agonist if you happen to use that if you take a graph of Concentration of the drug versus the pharmacological effect. When you use a drug, the, for example, a drug will increase the blood pressure by uh, 30 millimeters of mercury, maximum 30 millimeters. If that drug is able to do that full effect whenever you happen to uh, administer the physiological effect of it, that is called a full agonist. But if it is only be able to achieve not the full partial agonist, no big deal. Then what is the difference between potency and efficacy? If you take two drugs, the drug B is able to achieve a higher response than the drug A. So, kitna response aega, usko kya bolte hai? Efficacy. For example, you got 100 rank in NEET PG. 
another guy got 200th rank who has a greater efficacy the one who got the 100th rank got greater efficacy but if you take any particular level of response for example a level of response ke liye this drug a even at a small concentration drug dose only it is able to achieve that whereas it for the same level of effect achieve karne ke liye this drug required drug b required more amount of the drug dose and in that scenario the potency of the drug a is considered to be higher aapko 100th rank aaya dusre ko bhi 100th rank aaya magar the guy who got 100th rank burnt all his youth in the reading room whereas you had girlfriend you had a breakup you had remake up and finally you had everything with the girl and the boy whoever it is still you got 100th rank who is more potent the guy who could do everything in life at the same time also had his girl is more potent that is very very important to be remembered a healthy volunteer was taken for a blood experiment for a blood experiment a history was taken before the experiment regarding the exposure to nsaids but on testing the bleeding time has actually increased was found to be increased simply examiner can directly ask otherwise what is the what are all the drugs that can lead to development of a bleeding diathesis or thrombocytopenia so once more there is a list you have to remember reproduce that list so in the u medico app we have uh, all the notes in the form of all these powerpoint slides are going to be available like a slides you can bookmark this particular slide i want it to be remembered it will keep reminding you like a pill reminder so that is going to come in another one week our guys are uh, uh, testing that app app in the final phase we want to give you a bug free app hmm? so uh, theophylline cephalosporins antidepressants any of them can lead to development of thrombocytopenia so if you look at the uh, one of the drug cephalosporin you should remember that it will interfere cephalosporins interfere with the vitamin k metabolism and they will increase the bleeding cephalosporins can lead to hypersensitivity if you consume alcohol and cephalosporin entabuse effect is there immediately you will get a disulfiram like rash and nephrotoxicity is another important uh, adverse effect of the uh, cephalosporins is what need to be remembered so shortly the advantage of the u medico app will be you found that this is a important thing that i want to remind i want to be revised you can set up a notification reminder that morning morning cephalosporins kya karega aapko notification aa jayega usko click karte hi it will land you in this then two three times you got bored you go into frustration girlfriend bhi puchta hai kab aa rahe whatsapp ka notifications handle karu ya u medico ka neat pg notifications manage karu i don't want this i am done with this app in this uh, with this slide you can once more say denotify so you have the toggle feature with that it's all a question of reminding being in that mood continuously at least a couple of hours of the day kuch things to discuss recall that will make you to win the exam finally which drug can be used in benzodiazepine toxicity very easy question all of you know very well that flumigenil is a antagonist for the benzodiazepine toxicity this is how a flumigenil injection will be but one thing about flumigenil you should not forget benzodiazepines have got a very long half life 
somebody took uh, alprazolam 20 tablets and brought uh, comatose you have given flumagenil thak they will wake up just like they wake up from sleep they will wake up utna powerful hai flumagenil and uh, that nurse who tried uh, attempted suicide will say no no my husband is a very nice guy i only got emotional and took it thak she will once more fall down because flumagenil has a short half life so that is the reason one shot is not enough is what you need to uh, be remembered yeah so uh, now metquest is asking when will you introduce this feature another one week another one week so flumagenil is a benzodiazepine analog it competes with the benzodiazepine agonists reverse their action and it has a half life of 1 hour absorbed orally 20% bioavailability but used intravenously commonly and uh, there's a whole point